Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to repair the spark plug electrical connectors on a 2004 Lexus GS300. The process is similar for most Toyota and Lexus models, and honestly the most involved part of this process is finding the right part number for the connector housing so you can order a new one. Most of the time, however, you can find this information in the factory service manual for your car, or you can look online in forums to see if someone else has replaced the same connector that you're trying to repair. The only part you'll be needing is a new connector housing with the part number as shown. And the only tool we'll be using is something long and thin, like a blade or a pick. On the second generation Lexus GS300 in this video, the spark plug connectors we're repairing are located under the throttle body. So this has to be removed to get to them. If you would like to see how to do this, this procedure is covered in my previous video on the channel where I show how to replace the spark plugs on the same car. You can find a link to that video in the video description below. Or you can click the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. Once you get to the actual spark plug connectors, you can see that they are located in the valley between the intake and the exhaust valve covers. Because of their location, these connectors are constantly exposed to a lot of heat as the engine runs. Over time, the plastic in the connectors becomes very brittle and the locking tabs which secure the connectors to the coil pack break. As you can see in my case, the connectors are completely broken and they are only held in by some kind of JB weld or RTV. This means that as the car moves, the vibrations can cause connectors to break free from the coil packs and this can cause misfires. To take the old connector housing off of the wires, pry upwards on the tab located on the side of the connector using a sharp blade. As you can see, the plastic inner part of the housing moves upwards as you do this. Next, move on to the front of the connector as shown and pry upwards again. Now you'll be able to completely remove the inner plastic housing. Use a pair of pliers to remove the white plastic locking tab inside as shown. Depending on the age of your connectors, it might be pretty brittle and if it breaks apart, that's not an issue as we're going to replace the whole thing anyways. Before we start removing the wires from the connector housing, have a look at the color of the wire and which terminal number it goes into. In my case, the black wire with the brown tracer goes into terminal number 1 and the solid black wire goes into terminal number 2. Now you should be able to pull the wires out from the back of the connector housing. Normally the wires should come out pretty easily when you pull on them, but in my case, since the connectors are so old, the rubber weatherproofing seal on the wires has somehow fused to the connector housing. So I ended up using the blade to pry the wires out of the housing. If you do this, just be careful not to tear or damage the rubber weatherproofing seal around the wires. Now remembering the color of the wire and which terminal number it goes into, insert the two wires into the housing until they click into place. Once the wires are properly seated in the housing, push the white locking tab down to secure the wires in place. For the GS300, there are two more spark plug connectors, so repeat the same process for both of them. Now you should be able to insert the connectors into the coil packs and actually have them lock in place. So that brings us to the end of today's video. If you found it helpful and would like to see more of my content, do consider subscribing as I make a new video every other week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.